Hello, Raquel. Uh, how are you doing today? Good, good. You, good afternoon. I'm doing good. And, you know, I'm very, very glad to have you with us tonight. And, you know, we, that, you know, uh, and, and I would like to welcome on behalf of the whole program committee that, you know, you are, it's our pl pl pleasure that, you know, you are going to be speaking to Regional Scrum Gathering Hyderabad, 29th and 30th March 2019. And for our viewers, I would like to just quickly have a brief introduction for, uh, you know, uh, Raquel. She is our conference for the speaker. She has an amazing topic which she's going to talk about. I'm not going to steal the thunder on that. And she's an agile practitioner who cares passionately about helping deliver value to clients through simplicity using transparent processes basically all right so uh, raquel i'll start with asking you some questions okay and thanks for being with us okay my first question is if you can just introduce yourself and also talk about what keeps you busy nowadays <laughs> um my name is raquel silva i live in london for the past seven years but I'm original from Portugal. Uh, and this uh, being re related to Agile started like six years ago when someone told me, you are going to be the Scrum Master. And I'm like, uh, OK, uh, what is that? Uh, uh, and the person told me, go and find out what it is. And so I did. Uh, and uh, that brings loads of things, bring me loads of friends here in London because we are a bit spoiled about the number of agile communities we have here. So I went out to the community and I found help um, and it has been a good journey ever since. And the other thing is that uh, what keeps me busy comes actually from there. There is, uh, as I start in the communities, as an attendee, now I'm an organizer, so that keeps me pretty busy. <laughs> Apart from that, I'm planning this year since uh, I'm planning this year go running practice because I used to do lots of running and I needed to stop. And this year, hopefully, I will rest. I already started slowly, so I will probably by the end of the year be able to do my running. <laughs> Yeah, that reminds me, I need to start running too, actually, you know. <laughs> My wife has been telling me for long. <laughs> We're glad. I'm, I'm glad. Okay. So, yeah, great. So, you know, my next question, you know, yeah, you briefly mentioned about your agile journey you started. And I also know that, you know, uh, you have applied for a certified team coach, which is a very, very prestigious certificate on Scrum Alliance. You want to talk about all this journey and, you know, how you are doing so many things all together? <laughs> uh, this journey, when I, I went for, for a regional Scrum gathering in Portugal as a volunteer, uh -huh. uh, and uh, I did, I, I just finished my my CSM training and I was all excited and everything and I, I was telling one of the coaches there look what can I do because this is so exciting and I'm a scrum master and they told me why don't you do your CSP okay as I had the experience that took me like six uh, and it's like uh, okay then what I do next and do, it comes with starting to know about coaching um, because it's, it's good to have something to look forward and and the CTC is not the stamp is the journey uh, mm -hmm. and uh, learning how to coach be a better coach mm -hmm. uh, I discovered um, a systems coaching that is my passion now and it, that helps me and improve a lot my work with teams and this is one of my biggest passion is not only training or mentoring but this actually coach them and this has been really good results. So this is my CTC journey where I am. After a year of press the button, say I'm ready, a year and something. Yeah. Okay, I got my first part out for feedback. Wow. <laughs> Hopefully by the end of the month, I will have my part one approved and I will start my second journey, part two. <laughs> Congratulations and, uh, uh, you know, uh, best of luck for your future journey. And I really like what you said in between, uh, you know, what's next, right? That's a great Scrum Master term, right? What's next, right? Always looking <laughs> for next. I really like that when you say that. 
Cool. Now, yeah, so, uh, you know, what's, what's your mission from here? I mean, you know, what's your vision, you know, as a scrum master in the Agile community? What's your mission from here? Uh, I do like to make change. Uh, and I'm really passionate about uh, communication between people, help them, because most of the times when I, I met my teams, they are tons of good people, but they, they don't talk each other. Uh -huh. uh, because they they actually don't get to know each other I don't know so this is my biggest passion and as a coach is mm -hmm. having them to know not only as uh, their professional selves but actually the whole person and mm -hmm. that helped me and helped them to base to have a different relationship create safe environments trust each other and yeah that is what I, I do love and is if I can go in a company and help to change the way they work by create better humans <laughs> or help them to be better human. I think that is what I'm mo most passionate about. Wow, I really like when you say, you know, better humans. Yeah, you know, it's a little unfortunate. Uh, you know, I, I heard this quote uh, that, you know, in this uh, high tech world, you know, we have somehow lost the high touch, you know, even we, we are we are humans, actually, you know, yeah, I really like when you say that. Thank you. Uh, very good. Okay, now let's get to the most, you know, we have, we have been trying to create a suspense around the topic which you are going to speak. Yeah, so, so yeah, very, 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 um, you know, a unique, uh, uh, you know, title you have, you know, the four horsemen of toxic behavior. We want to talk about that, and 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 I'm sure we want to. We don't want to steal the thunder for for, and we want to keep the whole thing for for the conference. But yeah, if you can just unravel certain things for us to create enough curiosity on the topic. Yeah, this is uh, as in the description says is create awareness for conflict mm. and help people do not feel alone in the world when they fight or when they face conflict in the company when they face uh, some conflict in their in their teams or even at home because mm -hmm. conflict navigation is one skill a very good skill mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this helps to raise the level of emotional intelligence so mm -hmm. it's all all connected there so mm -hmm. if you create people the awareness for what is going going around them these toxic behaviors identify them call down by name don't be scared uh -huh. uh, it actually helps to create better teams and better environment even a better culture i might say oh. this is and uh, yeah it's a workshop it's a ORSC tool for coaching um, and i run it with teams before uh, and it actually is really helpful. <laughs> wow, so it's a workshop. Wow, that's fantastic. So that means, you know, the participants will get to get engaged and they will, they will be able to do certain things by themselves. Wow, and experience it. That's amazing. It's a, a full body learning experience. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. So our viewers get ready. I mean, you know. <laughs> Very good. Okay. So I'll move on to my last question for the day, Arakal. And any messages, any message you want to give to our delegates who are planning to attend or who have already booked for the conference, uh, you know, um, the regional uh, Scrum Gathering by Scrum Alliance. Any message? Uh, scrum, scrum Gatherings are addictive. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you go to one yeah. and say, whoa. <laughs> and it's like, you, it's not only the learning contents that are always fabulous, okay. uh, it's the network and the amazing people willing to help. Yeah. Uh, I did my first gathering in 2016. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is my fifth gathering wow. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, i made it to portugal london uh dublin uh australia and i'm going to to india now so uh and i will be in vienna 
because this is so addictive that you want to be a part of it. So I will be in Vienna for the as a as a part of the UGT, the European Gathering Team. So how addictive! Please come, <laughs> uh, and it's very easy. have the experience yourself. Is and it's all I have to say. Nothing else because yeah, <laughs> I just love it. I I mean. Actually, you know, to be very honest, you 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 have just hit the hit the hit the right place at the right chord actually, because for me also it's the same experience. It's it's just addictive. For me also, it's about sixth or seventh, uh, you know, uh, uh, gathering out of which I have been to uh, four uh, global gatherings actually, as as you also did. I think you know, it's it's really <laughs> addictive. I couldn't agree more on this actually, and it's like going to Niagara Fall, right? So so me and you have been to Niagara Fall. It's it's under we can't talk about much about it, right? So people have to feel by themselves actually. Yeah, I can go on and on, uh, but it's like, just come experience yourself. And it's like I used to say for my teams, feel the love and share the love. Wow, <laughs> feel the love and share the love. That's an amazing line. I'm, I'm, I, I just learned it, okay, so I'm going to use it actually. Feel the love and share the love. So, Raquel, uh, it was really, really great talking to you tonight. And it was well, great energy. I could see, you know, uh, I'm sure, you know, the, wherever you are working, these people are lucky to have you there. And, and definitely we are also lucky to have you in our regional scrum gathering and couldn't wait more to meet you in person as well. Okay. And uh, thank you very much for your, for your time tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you.